are tanning beds actually bad for you? And if you ask the average person, that would be a no-brainer because conventional wisdom has told us our whole lives that tanning beds are bad. Just like they've told us the sun is bad. But in the past, we've explained that the reason people actually get skin cancer from the sun is because our bodies cannot heal the natural damage that is caused by UVB and UVA rays. Our modern diets, our modern lifestyles, non-native EMF frequencies are so inflammatory to us that it causes cancer. Of course, the reason we want to get some sun or the reason we want to go to a tanning bed is to get our vitamin D. And the thing about tanning beds is you don't actually get that much vitamin D. And depending on what time of year you're tanning in the sun, you might not be getting that much either. The UVA to UVB ratio in the light source determines how much vitamin D you're getting. You want the UVB to be higher. And only during the summer around noon is UVB adequate to get large amounts of vitamin D3. Unfortunately for tanning beds, the only real thing you're doing is getting some UVA, which is tanning your skin, darkening your skin, and it does make a lot of people feel better as well as look better. That's the main reason I go to tanning beds and then I'll supplement vitamin D on the side. The question is, are these EMF fields, electric and magnetic, so dangerously high in the tanning bed that it's not worth doing? You know, the sun is normal native levels of these frequencies, whereas the tanning bed is a very high power source. So you have the electric fields, which is dirty electricity, wires running through the wall, which are usually not too much of a concern. You have the magnetic fields, which are only a concern with high power devices. But what makes magnetic fields really scary is that they penetrate and pierce anything. You can't really protect yourself. And for the Wi-Fi fields, like cell phone, cell tower, five grams, uh, Amazon devices, a lot of routers, things we're keeping in our homes, those are dangerous. You can protect yourself and shield yourself to some degree, but I'm not sure those are gonna be the concern in the tanning beds. And one other big reason that we need to get some sun is because they've been spraying these chemicals and metals in the air uh, for years and years and years. And when they do that during the summer, they're not only poisoning us, they are also blocking the vitamin D from the sun. Parking lot, this is my magnetic field meter. Right now, the magnetic fields are pretty low, around 15. The electric fields are also correspondingly low. The reason these electric and magnetic fields are typically low is because they dissipate very quickly. Like if I go next to this parking meter machine, you know, when I'm really close to it, literally touching it, the levels go up. But as soon as I get even a little bit far away, the magnetic fields dissipate very quickly. That's why they don't really use magnetic fields as a tool uh, to harm people or or involve people, you need a very high power device. Now the Wi-Fi fields on the other hand, usually you get some interference. So here in the parking lot, it's low, it's green, but you know, we're getting flashes here and there. Who knows if there's a tower nearby, what type of device is nearby, you know, just flash to high. It's very unusual in, you know, a suburban city environment that you'll have no interference whatsoever. Is that off magnetic? Is that off electric? that off. It's already high. So magnetic field with the bed on is much higher, but it dissipates quickly, very quickly, even just a foot or two away. But when you go in the bed, it's off the charts high. So if you're in this bed, you're basically getting cooked with magnetic radiation, which is one of the most dangerous. Same with electric. Electric is low even just a few feet away from the bed. But as soon as you get in the bed, very high. And I've never actually seen electric fields this high before. Now the Wi-Fi level doesn't seem to change in or out of the bed. So the main problem is those electric and magnetic fields. On one hand, I feel kind of silly for not testing that. On the other hand, I kind of had a feeling in the back of my mind that they were dangerous because of those high levels and I just didn't want to believe it because I feel so much better and I look so much better when I use the tanning bed uh, from my understanding of health and nutrition you know if you were to go in a tanning bed for even 10 15 20 minutes a day as long as you reduce the other levels of frequencies throughout the rest of your day 
it shouldn't be that big of a deal. It's just when you go in a tanning bed compounded with all of these other negative lifestyle factors, and if you're in like a high Wi-Fi environment 24-7, that's where you'd start seeing massive, massive health issues. And again, these levels of radiation are non-native. They're not what we're used to in our natural environments. Uh, my solution might be to try to get some UVB bulbs that the dermatologists use. So even if I can like build my own contraption, it's gonna have much lower levels of these frequencies because those tanning beds, they have like fans, they have comfortable stuff. It's super, super high power for a short duration of time. So I'm sure if you put some bulbs and wires together yourself, it would be much, much lower, much, much safer. And it would actually be worth it because you could use the bulbs that would get you some vitamin D. And there might be some tanning salons here and there that have higher UVB bulbs. But for the most part, again, you're just darkening your skin, you're not getting that vitamin D you need. And anecdotally, like I feel better tanning than I do not tanning. So it's tough, you know. <laughs> Is it worth it? Personally, there's better solutions, but honestly, if I have a photo shoot or if I'm breaking out, I still might come to the tanning salon like once a week, once a month, a few times a month. Um, ideally, I'm gonna look into building that contraption myself so I can figure something out. Again, the reason I'm not too worried about it is because I know the rest of my lifestyle is relatively low. Uh, so if you guys have any questions, definitely let me know. Uh, I would, you know, hypothetically stay out of tanning beds for the most part uh, for your own good. The magnetic field levels, the electric field levels are just so incredibly high and they're so close to you for a fairly long period of time. Uh, and, and you might feel nauseous, a little sick, which are symptoms of radiation poisoning, basically. So thank you guys for joining me today. If you'd like to support me, you can check out all the links down below. I will see you for tomorrow's video.